I'm very selective in my love interests, all right? And I come up with all scenarios of how it can work. You know, I don't wanna just crush, I, we're gonna get married, we might get divorced, but we're gonna get married again after, it's gonna be a long thing. I'm a, I'm a relationship person, I'm not a, you know, casual dater. John David Washington, you may not know him, because you know, this, there's some hoes out there, you know what I'm saying? There's some people <laughs> who've been around, and I don't want the hoes, all right? I don't want everybody who's been with everybody. I want the person that I can't even find on social media, John David Washington. Yes, this is Denzel Washington's son. And it's not just because it's Denzel Washington's son, although that's a good perk, you know what I'm saying? Denzel gets to be the grandfather of our child. That's great, you know? <laughs> I was watching Ballers, cause like I said, I get into these series and I binge watch. And I was like, I really like this actor. He's cute. Mm, he got a nice body too. Let's look at the credits. Well, who, what's, what's your name? Oh, okay, let me um Google. You know, I have a friend and she can hack anybody and we could not find him. We were like, where is this guy? And then I found out it's probably because his daddy said, look, stay off of the social media because the hoes be sliding in your DM. And then you got a whole situation. But I'm not one of those girls, you know? We can do, we can read the lines together. I can help you with your character work. We can work out. It's gonna be great. You know what I'm saying? You went to Morehouse. I didn't go to Spelman, but I went to NYU, so we're smart. Our gene pool is gonna, this, this child is gonna be, you know, a super child. Other than that, um, I've decided that I should star in the next Creed sequel so that me and Michael B. Jordan can have a scene together. And then we can have like an onset romance and then it can be in the tabloids. See, I worked this whole thing out. I'm the whole PR department for this whole situation. So it'd be like, oh my gosh, they met on set. Oh my God, it was chemistry on screen that went off screen. Oh my gosh, now they're going to the award show. They're like, oh, they're at Starbucks. Oh my gosh, they're married. Michael B. Jordan, which I like to call Michael B. Fine. Okay. <laughs> you know, we're demoralized from the time we step foot into the industry to the time we get out and beyond because um, women have to be stick thin, skinny, or whatever, you know, to get to be successful. And men don't, we know that. I know I'm a role model because I, my parents grew me up in a way where I still represent yourself, still be classy. You know, go out there and kill them on stage, but when you come off, just represent yourself in a different, in a certain way. Because I do want the, the youth out there to look up to me. And I was like, dude, why are you acting like that? And he was like, acting like what? And I was like, Serene. And he was like, nah, man, my name's not Serene. And I was like, what's, what's your name? He's like, Aziz, man, my name is Aziz. And I was like, oh my God, my name is Lizzo. You can't depend on other people believing in you. Cause I'll never forget, I was in high school and this boy, I told him I wanted to be a rapper. And he specifically, like people say this all the time, but he specifically told me, he was like, you will never be a rapper. And he laughed, but this was my homie. So I'm just like, I low key laughed, but I was low key like, dang. 